Marine Minute Modernist. Franz Klein's figure eight was one of the really key pieces that made me discover that action painting was not about the action necessarily, but about what ended up on the canvas. And this has evolved over time, and I think Klein is the definitive action painter. And figure eight is the greatest action painting ever done. Yes, Pollock, Autumn Rhythm, number five, all of those blue posts, they're great. But the thing about figure eight is how expressively moving it is. But it was also meticulously planned. Klein planned his pieces. He sketched them out far more than any other of the action painters, certainly more than Pollock, despite what he claims. And he created movement across the entire canvas, and it's a big canvas. And I think that the vertical orientation is really important to it. When you look at something like Joe Mitchell's work, particularly that of the late 80s, you see many of the same elements that size the aspect and the ability to give verticality with the coverage. And the combination of the white and the black and the blackness of the black, where he would take and use turpentine to just get it down to the pigment of the oil paint. Pure genius. It's a masterwork. And in when I first saw it at the Anderson, it was set next to a Gottlieb, and then there was the Rothko and the Pollock facing one another and a Dave Smith on the other side, which was great. Because when you look at the Gottlieb and then you look at figure eight, what you see is two sides of the same coin. This is action. This is moment. But at the same time, it is precise and controlled beyond what we associate with action painting. That's why Klein might be my favorite abstract expressionist now. <laughs>